Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming here with another episode of Conan Exiles. Alrighty, when we left off, we had been in these ruins here, the dregs. Um, couldn't go further, mainly because I ran out of materials to continue fighting, but... <laughs> I, A, have stone daggers now, so that would make the fight a little easier. And I picked up the rest of my uh, iron. In the meantime, I went back home, picked up the iron, and came back. Or at least the iron I had left, because I don't have a lot of it. So what we're sitting at right now is most of my material sitting right here, <laughs> really. So, uh, actually, I could probably start moving some of my stuff down just so my organization looks right. It won't impact my carry weight at all if I do this. It just will make it feel like I have more room <laughs> than I actually do. That's all. Uh, I'm going to do this for a little bit. And there, good enough. Okay. So, stone daggers are in hand. I have my proper iron ones in my pocket, but I was also traveling around a little bit trying to find iron. There's a little bit here. So, this might end up being where my home base kind of is while I try to or at least my relocated home base while I try to figure out the secrets of the dregs because I'm not entirely sure I know exactly what's going on there yet but with that in mind I'm really just trying to find a proper place to put the uh, second home base or at least the outpost sort of base as it were there is a decent amount of iron in this area and there's also a darfari camp over there which i might as well explore their stuff a little bit because i don't know if i know what this one is called but also i should probably <laughs> take some health a little bit there we go and this is all not fully repaired up. I really should do that. There we go. Now I'm down to 23. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. But at least it isn't a huge downgrade with the stone daggers. Compared to iron. Shaman's Rise. Interesting. That's what this place is called. Um, I'm trying to figure out. Do they have a vulture? That just flew away? Okay. Nunu. The cannibal. And the vulture flew away into stones. Okay. <laughs> the cannibal. And they're willing to talk to me. Stay your hand, stranger. Come, look into the pit. The Lord of Empty Abodes awaits therein. I am his shaman, Nunu. Your coming was revealed to me in the whispering of a bat's wings. Aha. Uh -huh. Right. You are lost. Seeking guidance, yes? Sometimes the whispers are silent. My Lord grows distant. I weep alone in the desert, but there is a cure. 
The smoke of the lotus. It deafens the world and so that the whisper of Yogg becomes a roaring shout. And the visions, they reveal to me the will of Yogg. If you need guidance, inhale the lotus. The path will become clear. The paths revealed to you by the lotus will not always be simple. Every opportunity is a test. Requires strength and an indomitable will. You cannot simply wander into darkness and expect to conquer. You will need to prepare, build yourself up, and find the other lotus. They bloom in other places and have many colors. I have a feeling, my friend, that you are going to taste them all before you are through. Fair enough. My heart has a question. Do you know the Lord of Empty Abodes? He knows you, child, through the flesh of your kind. He hungers to know more. All flesh is knowledge, every savory thought. Bring us knowledge of others. Yok is generous. So you learn about other people through cannibalism. Right. Okay. We are exiled without conviction. Our crimes are of no moment. My crime was my belief. What matter the age of the flesh that my lord consumes? Uh, excuse me? Does the Lord of Empty Abodes make a distinction between flesh in the womb and flesh outside of it? Now my tribe walks without a shaman, and I seek the pure flesh to feed my god. Okay, are you saying you ate a baby? Are you saying you ate a baby? I'm not sure what that means, but it sounds like you said you ate a baby. My lord whispers to me of this place. He walked here in ages past. They walked here, here? There was a banquet of flesh for his pleasure, and kings called upon his wisdom. It is men who destroyed that age of abundance. Yog urges us to seek atonement. The flesh we bring is an atonement. Association of past sins. Right. Okay. Uh, I learned cheer. I could learn Acolyte of Yogg. I'm not sure I want to. <laughs> but... Well, I'll need to learn something to finish that Venerate the Gods thing. But I don't necessarily want that. Don't get me wrong, I have some friends who are very into the whole Yogg path. I'm just personally not. Like at all. So, we'll just call that good. You are lost. Seeking guidance, yes? Is this just gonna Sometimes loop? Do we us okay, this is just the loop. Alright, fair enough. I weep alone in the I'm sorry, Nunu. You, uh... I've, I've exhausted your dialogue, so I'm gonna go bye. And, he, and I'm gonna still be able to hear him the whole time. Just gonna be very softly, very softly hear him, which is probably for the best. All right, Eat some of that, some of this spoiled, which is unfortunate. Um. 
Okay. So I might as well... Actually, I have way too much weight for me to worry about that actually currently. Now I think about it, I have way too much weight. Most of it is wood, interestingly enough. Okay, um... Let me make some of these into twine, so that way it lowers the weight a little bit. Huh. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna keep seeing if this area is a good enough home. another camp over there, but it's a small one. Looks like a bunch of rabbits and an antelope up there. Whoop! And it sounds like there's actually a hyena nearby. Which is, you know, great. Whoop! Oh, there was multiple. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. All right. Time to run. Yep, this is... This is not the fight I would have wanted. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, yeah. It's time to run now. It is time to run now. What is with the red going on down here? I have no idea. <laughs> but I'm going to find out. <laughs> That's a problem with exploring. Sometimes you run into incidents like that. Where uh, you, you find every enemy under the sun that you didn't want to find. Right, time to climb back up. Oh, man. That was, uh, unexpected. That particular <laughs> sort of issue. <laughs> Alright. Okay. And I'm back up here. Whew. Alright. So, <laughs> as much as I don't want to particularly do this. I might just have to wait until uh, the sun is up before I can do anything, which is mildly annoying. But I do have a decent amount of wood in this location, including even dry wood. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. I love how bright this is compared to a normal torch. Okay. It's not giving me a lot of dry wood. It's just giving me a lot of branches. Okay. We're going to go with maybe this location here for at least a secondary base. I'm over encumbered with wood, which is about what I expect it to be. Expected to be over encumbered while I was building because all of the essentials do carry a lot of weight to it. Actually, I think I yes, I have a sickle. No reason to do it 
the old-fashioned way when I can just collect a lot of it in one go. Okay, I think that's part of another. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Alright. There we go. What I want to know is if I can collect the wood out of this. I can. <laughs> okay, I guess that's how that uh, falls down. Okay. Um. Hmm. I have a lot of time with this thing. It's shocking how much time I have with this thing. Okay. I'm trying to think of general perfect location, but I think this is about as good as I'm going to get. I forget that I have first person view sometimes. But look at the detail of that. The glowing goop, little patches of it just thrown into the bones that you kind of strap together to make this. In fact, looking at it, I'm not sure why it has a durability. I mean, unless you're hitting people with it, it doesn't look like it should have a durability issue, right? Maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just my mentality on it. Need more glowing goop? Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, crap. Alright, well, that's going to make that difficult. All right, uh, in that case, huh. then I'll just put that away for now. Don't want to get, accidentally get rid of this. Absolutely not. Actually, put that there. Much better. Purify the water. There we go. Drink a little bit of that. Oop. I don't know why I'm holding on to human flesh, actually. It's a question that I can't really answer because I don't know why. I don't even remember when I picked it up. So, okay, there's that. Um, ooh, sunrise. Blinding. Okay. Uh, actually, now I realize that this has been here the whole time and I've never actually looked at it. I was more interested in that whole shaman place. Shaman's rest. I knew it. Slave, war maker Plael has ordered the sealing of the borders, including the destruction of the bridge. This is to discourage your treacherous kin from entering our lands. For hundreds of years, we have patiently welcomed your people into our lands. And our kindness was repaid with war. No more, bonded one. You will break the bridge, and as you do, think about the consequences of betrayal. Think about what your people have done to you. Uh, okay. So that explains the broken bridge. Apparently... Some people rested over here. I learned a new emote of submissive. <laughs> okay. Uh, from this Ophirian journal. Okay. It has proven wise to travel together. My companion has crafted a crude so stone sword. Hey, I have one of those. One which he applied with great strength to an aggressive crocodile. I cowered in fear when the monster attacked, and I am thankful to my companion for both the protection and the sustenance of the flesh of the beast. 
provided. It tasted like chicken. Uh, yes, every reptile apparently tastes like chicken, including frog, from the way I understand it. Never tried it. Kind of want to, but have never tried it. We have decided to venture further north, following the river. My companion has taken an interest in the black walls of the ruined city. I am less enthusiastic about the prospects of a safe haven there. That makes sense. So they went up north. Oh, look at that. Even more iron. See, I told you guys. This is a great spot. The only issue is water. And to be fair, it's not that far away. It's just not as close as I would like. And quite frankly, I can build a well. That's not an issue. Barely an issue at all. So with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and hey, take this. Oh, come on, really? <laughs> Usually this works. Okay. Game wants to make me a liar. Okay. So, with that in mind, I'm going to make the outpost here. What do I have more of? Of course I have more wood than stone. Okay. Uh, let's do the flotsam, then. Flotsam foundations. And make a... Actually, I could have made 12 of them. Alright. And that's 12 total. That'd be a decent sized outpost out here. And let's put it as close to the edge of the cliff as we can. <laughs> Alright, and increase the height a little. There we go. And a little more. Good. Alright, up we go. Okay, come on. There we go. That was not the direction I wanted, but it's fine. <laughs> okay. There we go. And... There. That wasn't too bad. Yeah, not too bad at all. Okay. So. For roofing, I might as well get most of that taken care of now. There we go. At least the corners made. And actually, I don't exactly know how many of these I'm going to make because I'm not sure this is going to be large enough for my needs. Hmm. I mean, it's good. It's good, don't get me wrong. I'm just not sure if it's large enough. Maybe another section of floor forward. Nah, you know what? No, this is fine. This is fine. Okay. Um, really, I need more wood for another box. That's the issue I'm running into now. Not like it's going to hold much. It's just an outpost. But... I do need the wood for the box. There we go. Also, I need a campfire, so I quit having these frickin' spoil on me. Why am I saying frickin'? 
far enough in the episode, I can say fuck. I can say fuck. <laughs> if I want to, I can say fuck. God damn it. Alright, campfire. Actually, I've never done a bonfire before. I want to see if there's something different about the bonfire. I've never made a bonfire. I've never bothered. There we go. Go. I don't know how I was able to make that collapse, but it's fine, I guess. There we go. And now we make a bonfire. I can see what the point is. Because I've never made one. And I've never been sure what the point of it is. But I guess we'll find out now. Alright. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm going to put it. Don't want it close to my base. Uh, how about... Here. Okay. It's just a bigger campfire. That's all it is. It's a bigger campfire. All right. Fair enough. Just never bothered. I just never bothered. Never figured it was worth it. And quite frankly, with the amount of wood requirement, it kind of isn't. I don't know if there's any extra speed to its cooking or not. Or like... Fuel... Time... Or anything like that. Hmm. Anyway all that up. And I need a little food. So there we go. Get a little water in me too. Alright. It kind of wasn't even worth it. That was a bug. <laughs> it's nice when the bug happens when I want it to, but this was definitely not one of those times. Huh. Might as well make those walls now. Uh, where's the wall? There's the wall. Don't have quite as much. That was a weird texture loading. <laughs> okay. There's that. This is actually a decent view. I might want to put a windowed wall or two over here. But I've run out of wood. Okay. Oh, I forgot the box. I'm so dumb. I'm dumb. People look in the history books, they will see dumb next to my name. And I will deserve it. Okay, and it was how much wood that goes into a box? A hundred? Two? So 100, okay. There we go. Since I need more wood anyway, cut that down too. Alright. Alrighty. Uh, might as well make that box while I'm heading over. Considering it'll take that much time. That's not what I wanted. Want that. Don't need more water skins. 
Although they don't weigh much, when I think about it. Why not? Why not carry more? Hmm. Something I'll consider, at least. That's... Yeah, there we go. That's where I want to go. Okay. The box. Here... ish there better yeah 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 you're over encumbered put this down here for now so I can pull this back out quickly um put the bones here cause I'll need them uh, mm -hmm. put that that there and that for that matter might as well do that Iron head arrows. Might as well hold on to them, but I'm not going to hold on to them for long. <sighs> so the dregs. Getting in there is a lot harder than getting out, for sure. Mainly due to that Darfari camp that's outside it. Yeah, I'm going to need to build up. I'm going to need to build up my iron, especially. Luckily, I'm in a place that will help me do just that. There we go. Take all the wood from that. And then take wood from here. a lot of insects inadvertently over here. <laughs> Alright. And I need to make more walls. So... That should help with the weight at least. There we go. Whee! Alright. Good enough. Perfect. Uh, don't really need this view. And put the door here. So I might as well make the door frame. There we go. And the windows. There's just two of them back there, right? Yeah, it was just the two back here. Okay. So. Don't know why I use the D-pad for moving around in the menu when I don't need to. Force a habit, I guess. Alright. So there's that. And then we got this for here. And it, uh, whoop. I forgot. I had one more. Da! Now I can easily just pull this out. And get the corners done. Come on. There. There. Corners always gotta be a pain. Always gotta be a pain. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Easy. There. Cool. And then we put this in. Cool. There. 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 And then, ta-da. Alright, and then it just... Do I even need to bother with ceiling? Mm, probably. 
All right. And then we go with that there. Yeah. Good enough. Alrighty. Own small little meager outpost building. Yay. Give me a decent little shelter at least. Uh, but I can't do a bedroll because that would... Yeah, I guess I could. I could do that. It'd just have to be a different quality, wouldn't it? Can't be the same rawhide bedroll, but a fiber bedroll I could do. Right? Right? That wouldn't destroy the old one, right? I would assume not. Right? Previous bedroll was destroyed. Damn it. Well, I'll have to make a bed at the old home then. But then again, this is the outpost. And the outpost is actually going to be where most of the iron building will be in place. Because I need to figure out what's up with the dregs. I need to figure out what's up with the dregs. And with that in mind, time to start gathering iron. You're just going to keep doing this one, huh? going to keep doing that. That makes sense. I get it, but it's going to get really irritating real quick. Alright. I was hoping I'd get more out of that, but that's fine. This, however... Do I really need to press interact? Any of that? I already read the journal. No reason to, I think. All right. There we go. Cool. Yeah, that ain't too bad. And down here is where some shalebacks are. Not sure if they won't be aggressive, though. <laughs> Kind of don't want to press my luck. Especially when there's water over here that I can just gather from instead. Oh. Crack it, Dad. Go a little further down the river from it, shall we? Alright. Um, oh, sitting at 106. That ain't too bad. Is that even more... But even more, it is even more iron over here. <laughs> I wouldn't have noticed it. I wouldn't have noticed it had I not bothered to look. Alright, let's refill the water, Keen Keen. Alright. Any more iron in this area? Not particularly here, no. Oh, I've been here before. This area seems familiar. And that iron seems to be protected. Okay, well, I accidentally pissed some people off. Well, hello. Whoops. Okay. Whoop, okay. Oh, and Crocodile also on me. That's not good. That's really not good at all. Time to run around the old-fashioned way. Okay. Whoop, okay. Alright. Crocodile had to be in the mix of it. Had to be. Had to be. Oh, okay. Well, at least you're fighting the crocodile more than me. That's the important part. 
All right, and a back up, and you're gone. Okay, all right. And I'll take that off of you. And I'll take nothing off of you, because you have nothing. And I will take the skin off of you. Yes. Okay. Actually, you know what? Might as well grab the hide off of these, too. Oh, come on. Did I... I picked up a severed leg. <laughs> I picked up a severed leg. Okay. Ah, uh, not what I expected to pick up. <laughs> the weight of the severed leg is 420. <laughs> A severed human leg. Um, mm, how about new? How about a new one, that one? How about a big old negatory there, Ghost Rider? Alright. And then there was another one over here. Here. I know I saw him walking around. There we go. Oh, hi there! You might be wondering what happened to, to your compatriots. Uh, well, I kind of killed them. As I did you. Fowey. Alright. Pick that up at least. That's kind of useful. All this fighting. For one node of iron. All of this death for one node of iron. And this doesn't even have anything good in it. <laughs> I kind of feel bad. I exterminated this entire little area for one node of iron. But it was important. It was necessary. It was necessary for my survival. Alright, Feral Flesh. Nah. I'm not going to hold on to that. Hmm. And I'm going to need iron to repair all of my clothing. Oh no, I'm naked! <laughs> Alright. There we go. Armor is fixed. And it's nightfall again. Well, might as well head to the outpost. And it's almost the end of the episode anyway. So. It's over there. Okay. <laughs> I was like, some of this doesn't look familiar. I'm going to be lost if I don't bother looking at my map. <laughs> Okay. So, stone. Needed stone to make the furnace. How much did I need for the furnace? Uh, 500. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, time to do that then. Gather a lot of stone for that. Luckily, this is providing a lot of stone for me. Alright. This area has given me a lot of stone. Almost enough to make the furnace. Beautiful. Now, the downside here is that there's not a lot of coal. Not in this area. But... Plenty of places where I can get branches. Which is at least something I feel I can burn with no repercussions whatsoever. Because branches are basically just a good fuel anyway. And good is a relative term. Good in that I have a lot of it. <laughs> and can get a lot of it here. So... Yeah, with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead, put the furnace down, right here, put some branches in here, there we go, and just start smelting iron up a storm. 
Because while I don't need to build the iron into anything, I do need iron as a resource as I further explore the dregs. And as you can see, I already went through my stores of it that I had left <laughs> pretty quickly. So, uh, I'll need a lot more of it. And when I get to steel, that's when I won't have as much of an issue. Hopefully. <laughs> at least with steel, I at least know where the resources are to keep that going. Kind of. It depends on, uh, really a lot of things. But, still, might as well get going on that. And time to end the episode as well, while I collect more branches to continue that fire. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and trying to create an outpost here. Which will allow me to further uh, run expeditions into the dregs. Which will then give me the little bit of story content I need. I need more story. I need to know what's going on here. To be fair, Nunu the Cannibal did tell me a little bit that the gods may have originated from here, or at least their concepts did. Okay, I didn't expect that to <laughs> respawn while I was walking. And, uh, maybe there's more going on with this area than I ever thought. And by this area, I mean the entirety of the exiled lands. But that will be something we find out soon enough for you.